Well, Maple Foundation is about, um, has many projects. One of the projects we're doing right now is the capacity building program. That was divided into two phases. One was the capacity building program, which is very basic material to people who have very, uh, don't have much knowledge about uh, internet governance issues. The second phase uh, was consisting of some of these students and some new students as well. This was a research program. Uh, the result of both phases, we got some of the best students uh, and, the, and we brought them here uh, in Athens so they can be in the field and use the knowledge that they got online in the course and really meet each other. This is the first time we, we have a person-to-person -person interaction and uh, perhaps uh, probably many of them are going to continue their work here with the Pro Foundation as well. Well, uh, that's, this always depends on what do you mean by governed. Uh, yes, uh, this basic question comes from many years ago. Uh, should we regulate the internet, yes or no? Now the question is uh, how should we regulate the internet? So I think there is a broad consensus that, uh, yes, yeah, some rules can be set. Uh, I, in my opinion, it should be uh, the broad community as broad as possible because everybody has a stake. That's the concept of multi-stakeholder. Every single user, whether they know or they don't really know what the real issues are, and this is one special thing about capacity building. Uh, it's like enabling some of these important, act, important actors uh, who, who don't really know, don't really understand how the internet works or what are the policy or economic impacts. What should be the consequences of different models of regulation? So this is one of the ideas that we have uh, promoting uh, with capacity building. That's a very difficult balance to be achieved because uh, basically the internet should be just one place that everybody's using at the same time. But more and more the internet's getting fragmented. So for some users in some countries, the experience they have is a little bit different from the experience other countries have. And it should be decided by everyone whether there should be something good or bad. Um, and the bad thing, I think, is that just one person, one organization, one government, one person decides if it's bad or not. If it's submitted to a commonly agreed uh, framework that can generate a good consensus, so we should get this result. But what we don't want is just to have uh, one entity taking the decision by himself. Uh, there is an interesting book, uh, it's The Age of Spiritual Machines by Ray Kurzweil, in which he's talking about possible futures uh, that technology is going to have on society. And what we see is that more and more technologies get embedded to the very concept of the human being. And uh, right now, we can we can do many more activities in a less time frame uh, with more capacity than people that were doing this like hundreds of years ago. What's going on right now is that the computers are being used uh, together with the human mind. So I think that the internet is going to be so widespread and computing power is also going to be very, you know, enhanced in such a way that for some things that we learn right now in school, Maybe it would, wouldn't make any sense to learn them. We are going to learn new techniques of how to use computer to use this information to get something that's really useful for uh, mankind. I don't think from now on we can separate what's the internet, what is a computer, and what uh, should be like a human brain, human reasoning. More and more this is going to be uh, closer. in one word. That's, um, give me a second. Mm. Evolution. Evolution.
Solution. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. And where did you say you were from again? I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Brazil. Yep. Okay. Good deal. All right. Thank, Thank you so you much. So much.